Uh, LB Master 6 here, and I have to correct a mistake I made, a fatal mistake. I said that the POW block has not made a physical appearance since Mario Brothers and various things related to the original arcade Mario Brothers, but that is simply false. How could I forget about the POW block being in Super Mario Brothers 2? Its design in this game is even based on Super Mario Brothers 2 with the red and all that. Okay, you've heard this song enough times, and there's our fourth star. Here we go, World 5, Yoshi with his mouth open. This, again, is my favorite world in the game, and I'm very, very excited for it and very nervous because Blizzard! Isn't that the... What, uh, what do they make, Blizzard? Isn't that World of Warcraft? I'm talking about the game company, obviously. This is a Thunder Laka 2, and we already... Wow, took a hit. Great! This effect looks really weird on the, uh, original version of the game. Very much what they were going for, I guess, obscuring the vision. But this guy acts much like a, what is it, a sumo bro from, a uh, Mario World? Feels so good. Oh! Thank God, these, I believe this is the only level those guys show up in, and they are obnoxious. And it turns out they and the Sumo Bro are based on a specific Japanese god. Here is a Mace Penguin, known to us in most games as Spike. But in this game, they're known as Mace Penguins. Alright, come here, buddy. Come here. Ooh, so today is August 1st, so I am rather... Excited. I love the first of any given month. Let's see what the mace penguin does. Is that even a mace? I don't think that's considered a mace. I don't know. I had a long debate uh, about that in D&D &D last time. And uh, we are playing D&D &D again today as part of my birthday celebrations. I gathered all the people that were free today because my pal Grant did not take off work a week from today, and I figured, ah, well, whatever, we'll do something else that day anyway. So, it's a good time right now. It's all feel-good, good-feel stuff, and, you know, I, I always feel good in August, because that's just a nice reset. It's the first of the month, which I turn a different age, and this year is a big one. 24, one of the best numbers. This is the last big birthday you can have without feeling a little bit sad about it for getting old. Because 25, a quarter of your life is gone. You know, minimum, pretty much. And, uh, you know, 30, people start feeling like, oh, I'm getting old, and every age after that just makes it worse. So 24, uh, you know, because 23 is like a depressing age, and 22, you're still in college, and nobody really cares about 22, because you're still remembering your 21st birthday for most people. You know, because you've been drinking and all of that, and you're most likely to be depressed between 22 and 23 as an adult. Well, except for, I guess, midlife crises, but you get the picture. I'm not even worried about all of that. I don't care about getting older. That just means closer to retirement. Not that I've been working much lately anyway, because uh, I mentioned that I work 18 days a week. These are my second favorite enemies in the game, the Bumpties. Not to be confused with regular penguins, these are Bumpties. Because they make this wonderful sound, and you cannot swallow them. Uh, but you can do this. Uh, I won't kill them with each other. Oh, and they can fly a little bit, and I love watching them struggle to fly. It's so beautiful. And there is nothing up here if memory serves. Come on, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, nothing. I don't know why they didn't put anything up there. Just a one-up would have been nice. I feel like we're missing something down there. All right, first things first, let's get rid of this key and do our mini battle to warm up for the day. Yeah, because I was about to sing a song about warming up, but for the life of me, I cannot think of a song about warming up. Alright, just thought I'd get a little bit of a formality out of the way there. Let the game continue peacefully. And... Uh, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 
that's perfect. A two up. We definitely actually needed that because I forgot again that our lives reset. So that is nice and welcome. I used to have something stupid I would say whenever I would think of the word welcome. But I can't think of it now. Oh, this background. Oh, the bumpties. Oh, everything. What's in here? Is it just death? Oh. Oh, God. Well, at least I know. Oh, we're back, guys. Uh, let's not jump into any more pits. Okay, just had to make sure there was nothing over there. Gotta keep my volume nice and high because uh, I was a little quiet last time. Alright, uh, this door is obviously the way to go. So we are gonna go up here. Yes, great. So that means the other pipe is an exit pipe. Oh, I thought this was going to be one of those falling block rooms, but apparently not. Oh, helicopter. Okay. Uh, I could be a little Nancy boy and... Uh... Uh, use the magnifying glass. Sorry. One. Two, three. Four. And I don't even know if the other one is in here. Uh, I'm kind of nervous about this. Maybe it's over here. It's totally over here, right? No, where is it? We only got four, right? Well, the good thing is we can always just go back in. Please? <laughs> Apparently, I don't have much to say today. I don't know. I thought it would... There it is. I thought it would be a lot more excited, I guess. But again, I got up at 5 a.m. without much sleep. I couldn't find music to sleep to last night. My wife rarely lets me put on music to sleep because she can't sleep. Even though I have to deal with her stupid fan all the time. For years now, every night, she has to have a fan to sleep. And I hate it. Also, that's really morbid down there. Just dead bodies. <laughs> I love how Nintendo thinks. <laughs> you know, that's just a nice little detail. Honestly, it's kind of disturbing. Also, this is my least favorite thing about Yoshi's Island. Period. You know the annoying mouse squeaking sound? That's the same as slipping on ice. Ugh. Like, the, the game gets praise, rightfully so, for its beautiful sound design. But that is one of the worst sound de design decisions Nintendo has ever made. Who played that and thought, ooh, yes. How immersive. How good. Because it's not. That is horrible. That is something they did fix in the remake. Thank God. Stop talking about the remake. You do that too often, too much, all the time. Back to why I love ice worlds. I wish I could make it nice and cold in here for the ice world. I love doing that uh, in games. Like if I'm in a cold area, especially in the winter, I will turn my fan on as high as possible, but I can't do that while recording. Plus it's summer, which sucks for doing an ice world. It's great for doing a really hot world, like most of this game feels like. But you know, if I'm in like a volcano, I'll turn my ceiling fan off, turn the air up. You know, as long as it doesn't cost me much money, I'm okay with it. Also, that icicle's a dirty trick. It doesn't fall, so you think, ooh, that's part of the background, and then there's that very narrow pit below it. Uh, I'm supposed to be freezing the Bumpties, but honestly, they're kind of innocent creatures that we can kill, and I don't like to kill them. I mean, oh no, they bump into us. They're, it's not their fault, they're fat. Like, they're, they're full of blubber, which is, I assume... Well, no, that's whales that are full of blubber. These guys just look like, you know, they'd have something you'd call blubber. 
They're very blubbacious. Oh, hey! You know what? You're not worth it. Wasting all my eggs. Ooh! You suck. Get out of here. And... Thank you. And another one of you. Oh! God, the difficulty gets worse and worse. I'd like to talk about how weird it is that these guys are named Pokey when they look nothing like Pokies. But oh well. C'est la vie. How many people do you think have ever said C'est la vie because of the way the Pokies in Yoshi's Island don't look like Pokies in any other game? How many? Take a guess. I don't know the answer. But I can take a guess. Zero. I'm the only one. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, no! Oh. My goal is to not use stars and not have to replay for the first level at least. Okay, you know what? I didn't want to have to do this. I don't like killing you guys. So at least I give you a lot of stars around here. Oh, uh, you know what sucks? You can see it now. Wait, what is this? Oh, you're a fly guy. Alright, we gotta get him to come back. Oh! Uh... Hmm... But why did the Bumpty look like that? Why did the Bumpty look like a rock? That back sprite of the Bumpties is weird. <gasps> oh, we almost did it. We almost had it. All right, come on, come on, come on. We have to get on the Lakitu. Oh, oh, oh. That does it, mister. <sighs> Fuck. I keep dropping the F-bomb in this playthrough. I told myself I was going to be better about that. Just, you know... In case it affects anybody trying to watch the videos. I've mentioned that before. I mean, it's partially a joke, but, you know, my mom. Finally, we get to ride a Lakitu's cloud. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, uh, my mom would always hear through the door when I would hear, like, be watching a YouTube video about video games, and they'd say the F word, and she'd be like, Jason, what are you watching? And she wouldn't actually care, but it just made me feel awkward. But a lot of people, I have parents... Way stricter than that. Man, I used to get actually mad at my friends for having strict parents. And I thought there was going to be something necessary up here. And I'm a little annoyed that there's not. I've also always wondered, what if you don't go down the pipe and you just fall off the sides? But I never wanted to test it out. Do you die? More bonus video content. I thought about throwing him into the dizzy dandy. I decided against it. But at least this way, buddy, you actually have a purpose. Oh, hey! You had a very good purpose, my friend. Come on. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> that was all... Oh, that's everything. Let's get out of here. Ooh, I love a good blizzard. Brr, am I right, guys? Mm -mm -mm. Does anybody want to hear the list of birthday activities? Well, we already have my niece coming over. And we have the D&D &D today. Then we have uh, this Thursday. We're hanging out with my friend Cody for a while. and Because I'm not going to get to see him for my birthday. And I never get to see him anyway. And other people will be involved in that interaction. So uh, put that on the list of birthday related activities. And then guess what? Please don't put zero. Wait, I didn't. <laughs> I forgot to I forgot to put out mini. Oh well, at least we got a three up out of it. I like how you always have to bet one. It's a little upsetting. There it is. Oh do 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 one of the best ever. Also this level is really good, one of the most famous levels, and finally we have a snowball. Uh, and we're sadly killing a bunch of Bumpties with it, but you know what? That's okay. They're, they'll probably kill us a few times. You survived! We're gonna take you with us. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Dun oh, that's the Paradise Line from Earthbound Beginnings. 
I should have known that. I should have known that instantly. I shouldn't have had to think about that. I'm sorry, guys. More birthday activities. This Saturday, we are having my wife's grandfather's 80th birthday and my birthday at her family's house, her mom's house. Then we are... Oh, okay. Let's get going then, I guess. Get out of here. No, sir. No, sir. We're supposed to be riding the ski lifts, right? Not not riding the ski lifts. No, I don't need you anyway. Oh, hey. Oh, we did need that. That's nice. Stop commenting on obvious things on the game just because you're focused. And stop doing this, this stupid, like, second person talking to yourself. I guess we'll go all the way back to get the way there to respawn. Okay, great. I thought those were just at a steady pace, but I guess not. Ha <laughs> That was nice. Another flower? Nope. More stars. I can live with that. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh! And then they encase it for you, so you have to have a challenge. Okay. Oh. I was going to say, let's save our eggs and just jump for it. But you get to watch me grind eggs again. Uh, then Sunday, we are going to have my grandmother's birthday far away and my birthday in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Then, oh boy, get ready for this one. We're not doing that jump. No, no, no. <laughs> there we go. Then Monday, a week from today, is my actual birthday. So I'm only working like two more days. And uh, I was talking about how I haven't... <sighs> All those stars. Oh, it doesn't matter. Where is this? Okay, this isn't the section I thought it might be. I think that is a different level. You guys who have played the game probably know what I'm talking about. This enemy is uh, another really good one. He despawned. Dr. Freeze Good, or the name of the snowman. The vaguely, ambiguously sentient snowman. All right, what do you do? Oh, I have no idea what this is. I'm not nearly as familiar with worlds five and six. Oh, it creeps me out every time. Or at least five for some reason, even though it's my favorite, as I am the others, and I don't know why. Huh? Oh, I know. I remember what this is now. Okay. They're making you slide on ice and hit an infinite coin block. But you have to, like, re -deal, deal with the traction all over again to replenish your uh, invincibility for the block to still exist. Okay, well, that's a neat little room. What did we get out of that? 11, 73 coins. Okay. Oh, we start out back here. Oh, I guess that's not far. I forgot you can't eat those guys. Did they not hurt you? I mean, okay. They kill themselves quite a bit. Is this... Okay, no. <gasps> oh, already cheese! Whatever, we were right there. I'll keep talking. Now, my actual birthday, I share my birthday with a friend of mine named Jesse. So, I'll be hanging out with him and a couple of other people. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun time. You're probably tired of hearing about my birthday. That's all I've talked about the whole video. And I just get really excited about my birthday. And this year, I'm extra excited for some reason. I guess because a good half of the time I was 23, I hated it. And, uh, well, I can't say I hated it. Hated it compared to my usual quality of life standards, I guess. Because, you know, I'm middle class. I have it pretty cushy. I can't really complain. But I don't know. Something about now. I was lost for a while after college and losing my Pizza Hut job. And, uh, I only started feeling a whole lot better, you know, decently recently. Sorry, I didn't mean to spit bars just now. Some sick bars. 
Oh yeah, you can stand on these. Which makes a flower a lot less scary. But you know what does make this section scary? The bumpties. I wanna take one. Thank you. God, this is so beautiful. I love snow. I love snow so much. I love cold weather. I love being stranded here. I said I like being stranded. I was joking. I was joking. I was joking. Please, please, please. Nope. <sighs> well, that's what it looks like when you kill one of these guys. I f oh! Thank you for spurting. Okay, well, we're not back that far. We're still early in the world. I, I, I want to keep talking. No, it's already not like I have anything to talk about. And it's already like I'm spewing all my words up. I'm spurting them a flutter. Speaking of flutters, yeah, I was right. They were originally called winged wiggler. No, flying wigglers. That was it. Not winged wiggler, so that would have been way cooler. You can swallow inedible creatures if you hold them in your mouth long enough. I guess because Yoshi's just working really hard at trying to swallow them, so it takes him some time. Man, this guy's got a mouth like Kirby. Do you think they were inspired by each other at this point? Because... You know, Yoshi wasn't all powerful until after Kirby existed, but he was still a big eating machine. <sighs> okay. Hey, buddy, Dr. Freeze good, please. That's that. Oh, I almost died again. Bumpties! Bumpties! Okay, let's let's ride into it. <laughs> I don't know why that's always funny to me. All right, bonus challenge again. Two in a row. Two in a row. Do you like me being quiet? Because it's over. Yay, we get to do this again. Oh, I got a little nauseous as soon as it popped up. I'm sick of it. I never want to play it again. I've played it so much. I'm ready for the memory game. All right, here we go. Final level of the day. This is a very quick one. Very easy so far. Danger. Icy conditions ahead. Here we go. I love this. First three levels of this world are easy. This is an icy stage. Be careful. This is an icy stage. Be careful it is slippery and difficult to walk. Grab a red watermelon and you can breathe fire three times. Use it to melt ice or attack your enemies. Thank you. I will not be killing Bumpties with this unless I absolutely have to. One of the reasons being I want to conserve it. Like, you know, my dad. Or Donald Trump. Haha, -ha, really good joke. Ooh, that icy water does not hurt you. But it is beautiful. Look at that animation. That is silky smooth. For, uh... Oh, and you can free the Shy Guys. But, you know, we don't have a purpose. We're just gonna end up killing them anyway. Oh, I forgot we had fire. I expected him to freeze for some reason. Oh. I don't know if I've ever swum in that in this little section. Alright, Bumpty. I couldn't do it. I couldn't throw him at the bucket. Oh, I was gonna say, but, you know, don't be fooled. This world is very hard. Just not yet. Not really. But I can see if people have trouble with these sorts of levels. Uh... Oh, that was a bumpy. That wasn't a freaking fire melon. <laughs> oh, this is nasty. They're eventually gonna slide on out of there. So be careful. Oh, oh. I really had to think about that, but that was really not that bad. 
I assume what they wanted you to do was freeze the blocks in the way of the paddle wheel. Also, flatbed fairies are the name of floating platforms, by the way. I forgot that they had a specific name, and I thought it was really worthwhile to bring it up. This section. Let's go on ahead. No, let's not go on ahead. Not just yet. There's not really a point. Alright, give me that. Ooh, that sound is just grating in my ears. Alright, alright, alright. And we will now be slamming our bodies into the bumpties mercilessly. If I remember correctly, this is the most uh, painful section in the game. No! Fuck. Oh, I think we can go back. Let's go back. Stop saying fuck. Also, if for some reason, sometimes it just feels awkward to use the word fuck. Because, you know, you know what it means. And who came up with it? You know, I looked it up, but I didn't, I, you know, it didn't stick. I don't remember at all. So it's like I never learned it in the first place. So it's like, you know, this is why you doubt people whenever they're like, Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. I'm like, oh, I knew that. Like, no, you didn't. Like, why would you know that? But, you know, I wonder how many people, because I talk to people all the time who don't remember half the stuff I tell them. You know, either, and not just because they're not listening, but I could tell somebody like my wife, a neat fact, and then a year later, she doesn't remember the neat fact in the slightest. God, I hope that was the only red coin. I really, really do. What? Well, I sure dang didn't expect that. So, you know, is it... And they don't remember it at all. So I just feel fake all the time for... I love how they rub it in by having the birds make the same sound it makes when you slip on ice. Awful. <laughs> like, just right after you're slipping on ice. Ow, I hurt my eye. I hurt my eye. Ugh. Oh. I'm okay. Well, I feel fake all the time because I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I knew that. Something I didn't remember at one time. It's just I can feel it in the banks of my memory. And it triggers a specific memory, you know, whenever it, whenever they say it. I'm like, oh, yes, I did know that. And then sometimes, you know, it's vaguely back there. And it happens so often that stuff I've never even heard before, I think, oh, I could have known that before. I vaguely remember that. So my memory is, like, so good it's bad or it's just not good enough. It's not where I want it to be. Let's put it that way. It's not like I'm making efforts to, you know extend my memory. I like forgetting stuff. Like, you know, if I could forget what happened in the office and watch the office for the first time again or play the Earthbound trilogy for the first time again. This, I think playing this for the first time was plenty enough. <laughs> Yoshi's Island is too hard to ever want to, like to 100% to ever want to experience it for the first time again. Oh, I'm not playing this a safe way. Oh, like that grocery store that doesn't exist around here. I want to save the Bumpty. I could. I could go into my inventory and save the Bumpty, Bumpty with a super fire water. This is dirty. That is dirty and rude. Oh, I only had one hand on the controller, so my reaction was pathetic. Oh, God. Where does that... Oh, my God. What? Why did he fall? Uh, yes, I am back now, and I used the magnifying glass, and I want to point out, there are certain ways of jumping on a Dr. Freeze good that will not, I repeat, will not let you flutter jump afterwards, so, uh, it's mean, but it is the case. You need to get out of here. Oh, I didn't want to kill you with an egg. The only way it's acceptable to kill Bumpties is with another Bumpty. I think we can all agree on that, right? 
God, I love Bumpty so much. They show up very, very little in the uh, Mario franchise as a whole, and it makes me very, very sad. Because they are fantastic. But I used the magnifying glass because I thought, you know what? I always save items for when I think I'm going to need them, but I never use them. Here we go. I thought this wasn't in this level, but it is. Oh boy, when I said the first three levels aren't that hard, I lied. And also, that was the first appearance of Goonies, and I just obliterated them with the middle ring, and he... This has no official name, but Mario Wiki calls it Ski Yoshi. This is a mean, mean time. We have to kill ourselves now. This is unofficially called Snowball Yoshi. Oh, here's where the death counter ramps up to its highest, probably. Except for maybe the extra level of this world, because that... Oh, I have to eat a Goonie. Oh, I'm not fulfilled until I've eaten a Goonie. It's like philosophers when they say eating certain food is like more enriching. Oh, <gasps> this is blasphemous. Why did my magnifying glass not take? Oh, when you die... The middle ring is... Oh well, it's not like we really need it. It's just annoying that I used it. I expected it to last the whole level. I didn't even need it. It was just in case for that, uh... The Superstar Mario, Powerful Mario section, whatever. We have got to get these jumps right. Fuck! <laughs> just die. That's right. These sections are mean and brutal and other synonyms that you want to call them. But I am a huge fan. I'm not going to be a huge fan while editing though because I believe we're going to start cutting after this attempt. But I love Yoshi's yellow boots. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 I'm sorry if that sounded sexual to you guys. Oh, I thought I was dead there. Oh, and we fly down right next to the Goonies. We are up in the mountains for sure. Do you think Yoshi is loving it? We are pretty much good now. I was way easier than I remember. I can't believe I saved that. I can't believe I saved that. Skeleton Goonies! I forgot they show up this early. And look in the background. Look at all the Goonies! I don't know if they're a reference to that Alfred, Hitch Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Goonies. Or Goonies. I don't know if it's The Goonies or just Goonies. I've never seen it. I don't know anything about it. I've heard of it a million times. I've heard a million references to it by name, but I still have no idea at all. Not very interested in much artsy filmography. Cinematography, sorry. Well, that just implies camera work. The movies I'm into are comedies, kids movies, and uh... Uh, the occasional romance, aka chick flick movie, a good rom-com. Yes, I know, this, this Let's Play is making me out to be very feminine, but you know what? There is nothing wrong with that, because I don't care at all. I mean, I'm not worried about my self-image. I'm already married, and why would I marry somebody who cares whether I'm into chick flicks? Because that's stupid. Whenever you try to hide something about yourself, if you like chick flicks, just say you like chick flicks. If they judge you, I mean, who cares? And maybe you shouldn't marry them. Maybe they're not the type of person to marry if they won't watch The Proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds with you, which my wife and I have never actually done. I saw it enough back in the day anyway with my mom. She's the reason I like all these types of movies, but I never watch them. It's probably a good thing. They're kind of a waste of time a lot of the time, especially when you're like my mom and you watch them over a hundred times. She has seen the Sandra Bullock movie while you were sleeping over a hundred times. I'm LP Master 6.